I think there is nothing more frustrating than having spent your money, your time, your energy in creating the perfect wardrobe for yourself, but end up walking every day into your closet and realizing that you just hate it all. So if this is relatable to you, then bear with me throughout this video because in this video, I'm going to break down five main reasons why this might be happening to you. So if you're new here, my name is Jessie and I make videos regarding fashion, luxury and lifestyle. So if that is something that you like, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now having said that, what I hope to accomplish today is help you pinpoint the reasons why you might be having this feeling towards your clothes, but more importantly, to help you love your wardrobe again. So the first reason that I'm going to talk about today is that you're not shopping your own personal style. And what I mean with this is we get bombarded with so many images on social media that it's so easy to stray away from our own personal style. Meaning that we might find certain aesthetics or just pictures of any influencer so much more beautiful than we might find our style. So we get tempted to copy paste their style and buying the items that work for them instead the ones that truly matches our own. Now what ends up happening is that we have a closet full of items that represents other people's style or aesthetic instead of our own. So we end up not grabbing towards them or we find it really hard to combine those items together because we just can't relate to them. So the key here is to stick to your personal style and buying items that truly matches that style and represents you and actually makes you feel good. So if you don't know what your personal style is, I've recently done a video on how to find your personal style. So if that is something that you truly would like to figure out, then I'll leave that link down below and you can watch that video. Personal style, I believe is very personal. It's a representation of who you are. It reflects you and also your mood. So reason number two, I believe sometimes it's really hard to just love your clothes is because you might just not be feeling it. Now it could be as simple as feeling blue or just not having the right mood that day or to something that's long term as being depressed. Now whichever it is, it's really important to tackle the key problem instead of trying to fix it through your wardrobe. Tackling any internal problems that just makes you feel a little bit off will help you also to start loving your wardrobe. Getting to reason number three is when you're only buying occasion clothes. Now this happens when we have some certain important occasion to attend to, like a wedding or a date or a dinner or a funeral, whichever it is. We start buying items and clothes that matches that certain occasion instead to sticking to our own basic trend style wardrobe. What happens is, is that we end up with a closet that's filled with just occasional clothes instead of our own day-to-day -day clothes that we need because we're not always attending to an occasion. It's really important that when you're buying items, you're not buying towards occasion, but you're actually buying clothes to fit in your personal style, your personal wardrobe, and then going into that wardrobe and finding pieces that you can wear towards certain occasion. Talking about occasional buying, I believe something that is very similar to that is when we start following just trends. And the thing that we should realize about trend is that a trend is just trending at that time. It's a hype and that hype will certainly fade away. Whether it's just a month or a year, in the end, a trend is quick but it does so buying too many items that are trending might leave you in the end with a closet that feels outdated and just out of style. The key here is not to avoid trending items completely, but it's actually to balance your closet with some trending items, but also with items that are classic and durable and that have stand the test of time meaning items that you can wear over and over and over again and they will always stay in style. Last thing that I want to talk about is having too many statement pieces or not having enough basic in your closet. Now I do believe everyone should own statement pieces whether there are jewelry, shoes, jackets, dresses, whatever it is. I think statement pieces are overall beautiful and also very luring to get. 
So it's very tempting to get a lot of statement pieces because they're just amazing and beautiful. However, if we don't have enough basic in our closet to balance those statement pieces out, it can become very difficult to find clothes in our closet because those statement pieces eventually are very, very specific and also have a very specific maybe color or shape, which makes it very difficult to combine or match with other clothes or the clothes in your closet, which eventually makes the whole picking of your clothes a very daunting process. So make sure that when you have statement pieces in your closet, you not only have those, but you have enough clothes to also balance those statement pieces out. So guys, I truly hope that this video was helpful to you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it truly helps my channel. And for now, I really want to thank you for being here today and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!